The 142nd Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Army announced that it had integrated Leopard 1A5 DK tanks into its ranks, vehicles that have now undergone substantial battlefield customization. These tanks, originally transferred to Ukraine in late 2023 through a combined donation from Denmark, Germany, and the Netherlands, represent part of a commitment of up to 100 Leopard 1s. Although the Leopard 1 series was never known for its armor resilience, Ukrainian crews and engineers have implemented significant defensive upgrades tailored for modern combat. The Leopard 1A5 DK, a Danish modified version of the German Leopard 1A5, maintains the hallmark strengths of its generation, speed and firepower. Outfitted with a 105mm L7A3 rifled cannon, advanced optics, and digital fire controls, the tank retains its lethality against conventional targets. With a robust MTU MB838 engine delivering 830 horsepower, the vehicle remains highly maneuverable, reaching speeds up to 65 km per hour and covering 600 km on a single refuel, vital traits for dynamic warfare scenarios. Yet, its thin armor, designed during an era without precision-guided threats, presents a major vulnerability. Its basic steel plating, no thicker than 70 mm in key areas, offers limited protection against current-generation anti-tank weaponry, loitering drones, and tandem warhead missiles. Recognizing this critical shortcoming, Ukrainian defense experts have radically enhanced the platform's survivability. One of the most significant upgrades is the integration of Contact-1 in this explosive reactive armor. Contact-1, a Soviet-era technology, disrupts shaped charge warheads with detonating tiles placed over vulnerable zones like the turret and roof. Though not cutting edge, its inclusion offers a proven counter to older anti-tank systems still common in the conflict. More notably, Ukrainian technicians have added NIS reactive armor, an advanced, locally developed solution. NIS features a multi-layered design that offers resistance against tandem charge munitions, improving the tank's chances of withstanding multiple hits. This armor has been strategically placed along the hull, glassy plate, and side skirts, reinforcing the tank's flanks and underbelly. To further counteract the rise of drone-based attacks, crews have installed protective grills and wire mesh screens on high-risk areas like the engine deck and turret top. These barriers serve to deflect or prematurely trigger incoming explosive drones, offering an added layer of passive defense and enhancing crew survivability. This blend of imported hardware and domestic ingenuity signals a new era of Ukrainian adaptation in mechanized warfare. By merging legacy Western platforms with in-theater modifications, Ukraine has effectively revitalized aging armor for relevance in a drone-dominated battlefield. The 142nd Brigade's initiative showcases how modular armor solutions and flexible retrofitting can dramatically extend the usefulness of even Cold War-era tanks in modern combat. These improvements are more than just stopgap measures, they reflect a doctrinal shift. Today's tank battles are no longer defined solely by armor thickness or gun caliber, but by how well vehicles can be modified to withstand new threats. In this light, Ukraine's work on the Leopard 1A5 DK exemplifies a growing trend, making old steel relevant again through innovation and necessity.